This is a public service announcement. I don't know if I want you guys to spread this video or just listen. And I'll say this and please try to remember this video is not for decent people. Now, what are we doing with the human race? What I mean by that is, what has good become? And sure, for those people who are going to take this as bitching, moaning, and complaining, please realize that you are a part of the problem. What I mean by that statement is, nowadays a good person who's not out killing, raping, stealing, they look at life as, suck it up, keep doing you, make money and attempt to buy your way. To some sort of peaceful sanity. You see bad people. Don't give a shit. Bad people. Do not live in the same world. We live in. You have to remember that your world. Is strictly based on how you perceive reality. And nothing more. Every emotion, every detail of every experience and how it made you feel on the inside is based on your perception of reality. Sure, some of ours are going to be the same. But when you come across people you're interested in, that's because theirs aren't. It doesn't have to be completely different, but certain aspects of it. Certain key questions to life or certain key feelings that seem to pop up in life constantly are different to them. So you become interested in them. But bad people, their world is completely different. You can't relate to these people. I could never relate to a rapist. A murderer, a thief, someone who thrives on intimidation, disrespect, irrational thought patterns that constantly lead you down a path of despair and struggle. Essentially fooling yourself into really believe in you're doing something progressive, you're moving forward, and that you're going about it in the right way. Now, good people, what you have done is you have given up the fight for a world that's peaceful. Instead, you cope. So it's easy for you to say things like suck it up and just live or to even go as far as to just say shit happens. Sure things happen. But there's a mechanism in which things happen. Someone has to give up something, sacrifice, agree to, receive, barter with or trade off. Something. Be it a thought or something physical. There's some sort of back and forth going for things to happen. Good people, when you decide not to fight, this is what the world becomes. It becomes a place where you need police. Where you need government officials. I refuse to believe that this species is that stupid. When you look around you and you see all the genius inventions that we have, think about even a 
most lowest of scum. They still have the capacity for even if they're not that smart. To also just not be that stupid. So what have we become? What ideals do we hold close to us that continue to bring forth this sort of destruction to a species is what we need to think about. I'm not here trying to blast religion. I think it's understandably cool as long as a person realizes faith is not fact. Those are two different thought patterns, two completely different worlds. One that should solely be kept to that individual and not forced upon others. Regardless of how much you believe in something, if you weren't, if you weren't there for it and there isn't solid physical evidence, then there is no need to force others or coax others into believing in such a thing. Everyone should have that right to choose to believe in it. Even then, it should be kept to yourself. And if a person doesn't want to think that way anymore, they should not be scolded for it. Regardless of what you believe. I don't shed tears when I think about crime. I never did. However, I always found it terribly sad. But good has a part to blame in that also. When you rig a system where you're telling people fight for resources instead of figuring out how can we all share these resources, what do you really expect? You folks can call it capitalism, democracy, all you want. When you're basing a system on everyone having to fight for it, and saying it's fair because it's there, you just got to go out and get it. You're saying you have to fight for it. The key word being fight here. What do you really expect to come of that? Change the system. You change your perception on it. You change the people. That's the, that's the day that I dream for, hope for. I'm only 23 and I can already say it not necessarily for myself. You see, it's a shame when you're still young, but the world is so harsh that even at a tender young age, you already consider most of your life over it based on how the system is ran and what we let happen and what we don't let happen. So I hope for the sake of my only child that things are different. That within these new generations, we're actually instilling goodness in them. Because as we speak, someone is raising a rapist probably, a murderer, a drug dealer. Violent drug dealer is what I really mean to say, but that'll be another video for another time. Gang members, violent ones. I mean, if guys want to get together and have secret handshakes and meanings of life and taking care of one another, cool. But when it involves violence and really feeling like you have to survive as if you're literally living in a jungle then yeah, that's just something that I cannot throw my chips in or ever truly give you the benefit of the doubt. But these are some of the people, excuse me, I forgot to mention, you know, racist, racist people with the ideologies. And that goes for blacks, whites, whoever just has that mindset. These are some of the people that are being raised, folks. If you're like me and have already given up on your generation changing, even if you're not a parent such as myself, if you know children or just happen to pass by one, 
a young child, or maybe even some of these teenagers. We, because I'm personally tired of looking in newspapers and seeing so many teens, uh, you know, all uh, across the board. Shooting up each other and killing off each other for the stupidest of things. If you see one, say something to them. Something that you know to be a universal truth. Give them something that'll help them change. I'm not saying that your words on that very day at that very moment is going to have the emotional capacity to change every facet of their lives, but say something you know to be right. Something. Not any bullshit either, man. Just say something you know to be right. Something that I don't care if you're religious to the non-religious, to whoever you are. Something that's right. Personally, what I like to tell a person is that to anyone's knowledge, even religious people, well, most of them, we only do this once. You know? Even the religious people who think, you know, after this year, you're just judged and that's where your soul and spirit is sent for the remainder of everything. Okay. I'm not saying I agree with that, but what we have in common is that we do think that this is just that. Even if you think that it comes after, we do all agree that we're going to die. I like to let people know that. You're going to die. Look at those you love, care about, or, you know, or just turn to the person who's to the right or left of you. If you happen to be sharing this video and... Understand that this is all we have. And that we're too smart to be this stupid. All of us. So I'm going to fight. That's what I've devoted my life to. Risking my life for strangers. And also those that I love. The fact is we're not going to reach everyone. We're just not. Some people are going to just be who they are. But we have to do something. So if it takes me having to protect people who have yet to grow the heart to protect themselves, then okay. I'm willing to do that. The good people have to meet people like me somewhere in the somewhere. I don't want to say the middle because nothing's ever 50-50, to be quite honest with you. But you also have to take a stand. Not the stand of just talking to each talking to each other of what should it should and shouldn't change. So it's time to speak up people. It's time to just be honest. Find out who's who, what's what. And live according. Like I always say, comment, subscribe, rate if you must. And if you decide to do neither of those things and just take this with you and build on your life, my brothers and sisters of the earth, then I'm... Do so.